Hi, we are here talking about the uh, business plan tool in QuickBooks Desktop. You get to it through uh, Company, Planning and Budgeting, select Use Business Plan Tool. It'll load, and this is a great, great, awesome tool to have. Because you have all your uh, financial records in here, it's not going to be hard to do what it asks, which is a few questions. Um, in the income section, it'll ask you to click on the wizard, and you click next. You select uh, the date and the year, and then it will retrieve that information. You tell it, do you want to use the last 12 months, or compute a monthly average. So it takes you step by step through each thing for the income and then for your expenses and what you end up with is just is just amazing um, and why this is important is because sometimes you'll uh, have a bank or if you were looking for investors they will ask you do you have a business plan this projects out uh, five years it's just so simple to use and just couldn't, they couldn't make it any easier. Once we get to the end of this, where you know I'll, where it shows you the final re, uh, product, you'll you'll just be amazed. So basically, you want to continue to go through clicking next, and it'll ask you questions about your account balances, which it pulls in from your data, and it'll tell you when um, done, and say, would you like to print your business plan. Now what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just going to preview it because uh, there's no sense in printing it out but I really want you to see what you get here. So I checked off each box. This is what's going to be included in your plan and I checked off each box. That's a personal preference when you're going to print the plan. So it'll format. Now here, here we go. Here is the start of it the company name, Larry's Landscaping, this is a test file that I used. Your, all your table of contents are here. And uh, you click to the next page. And you'll just click, keep clicking next till you get to the end. And again, it just couldn't get any easier than this. I think it's just a terrific uh, example of something that is so easy to do and it just comes out looking like you spent hours and hours pl producing this. I'm skipping backwards a minute. Here's the income projection. Here's the five years of expense projections. Now you don't have to have all of these in your report but it gives you the option to have them. Because most people if you ask for a financial plan typically five years out it is pretty standard as far as the projections go. So when you come to the end, uh, I want to go backwards and I want to show you there there is a section of questions that you should answer and I want to show you how to get to those questions. If you're working with a pro advisor, they can pop the file into their desktop and produce one of these reports for you. Real simple. There are also beautiful graphics that you can put into your reports. There's uh, pie charts. There is one of them. And you can see it gives you all the breakdown of all the information. And that's just one of many. So I really think that if you have access to this, utilize it. Utilize it for financial reports just for your own benefit. If you need to analyze anything, you can pull the reports right from there here's your balance sheet. So this shows you you can print each part of this separately if you'd like. Now to get to the questions I was talking about you click on plan and you click on preview. Here are the list of questions that I recommend that you do have answered. It's information about the goals of your company, financial assumptions, various things that I feel are important that most people if they ask for a business plan would expect them to be there. It's a little bit of time to, to answer these questions, but not not much. And they give you the help that you need. They give you the examples. Doesn't get any simpler. Thank you.